Hello guys I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video I will show you the five tricks and hacks that you can use on your smartphone camera particularly Android. These will include some cool applications and some nice tricks that you can do while taking pictures. So without wasting any further time let's get started with the video. The first application on the list is color director and this is a very simple application but it is extremely useful if you're a designer or you do some kind of arts and crafts stuff so what this application actually does is get the color code from what you're scanning so if you're taking a picture of a shirt or kind of an almira then it will get you the exact color of what the almira is and you can use this to compare two different colors of t-shirts or if you like someone's attire in a party or something then you can save the color code for later use the interface of the application is also quite simple there's a selector in the middle that you can drag to various parts and select the color from whichever part of the picture that you want to this application works live so even if you're moving the color code will keep changing and if you want to pause it then you can press the pause button it also has an inbuilt color chooser so if you want to use that you can do that as well all in all this is a nice app you should give it a try The next application is instant heart rate monitor and this application is also quite simple and does exactly what the name says and it uses the camera to get you the heartbeat might sound like a gimmicky feature at first and you might think that the application is fake but i cross checked it by getting the heart rate myself and also running for some time and then checking my heartbeat and it is quite accurate So to get the heartbeat all you have to do is place your finger on the camera lens and it will automatically get the heartbeat in some time. The interface of the application is also quite simple. It will require a quick setup, will ask you for your date of birth and also your gender and then you're ready to go. And it automatically launches the flash when you turn it on. If you're into fitness or something then this might be very useful for you. So before moving on to the next trick if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button because I keep making videos like this The next application on the list is Smart Measure This application is a measurement application and this uses your phone camera to get the actual height of the real life object so you have to scan the real life object and it will get you the exact height of that object you'll have to read the instructions first and i don't know why but this requires a magnetic sensor so this application didn't work on my moto g5 plus but i tried it on my friend's phone and it worked quite well it takes some getting used to with this application but once you set it works flawlessly the things that you'll have to make sure are that first your mobile should be mounted properly and if you're holding it with a hand you can't move your phone horizontally you can tilt your phone but you don't have to displace your phone The next thing is that you should be in level with the object before you would start taking the height. The third tip is that if you're taking the height of an object that has some kind of texture, the application will be more accurate. Getting the height is quite simple. You have to press the button, tilt the device and press the button again and it will show you the height. You guys must have seen the film flares or the film burns that are all over the place. Many YouTubers use it for transitions and stuff and it is done in the editing software. They are awesome to look at and they look great in photo and video as well. I will show you how you can do that straight from your mobile camera and you won't even need an editing software for this. You will need a lighter or a matte stick for this and try to mount your mobile on something like a tripod or something and then try to take a picture with the fire on. By moving the flare you can get different kind of textures like blue or orange and if you have a moving object then it can be used as a transition as well. Many of you guys might already know this application and it is the Google Translate application. The recent updates have made it quite efficient and and now the photo translation works really well. So all you have to do is open the application, point it towards the text and try to keep your hand as stable as you can. And it will translate all the text that is on your screen to the language that you have selected. Photomath is quite a famous application and I thought I would throw this one in as well. Some of you guys might be having exams and if your math exam is near then this application might be useful for you. It will automatically solve the math problem and all you have to do is point your camera at it. The recent updates have made it quite nice and now it is very efficient at detecting the human handwriting as well. So the next app that I'm going to show you is really helpful and it has helped me a lot in college work. 
so if you have any printed document or you have kind of a screenshot that has a lot of text and if you want to convert the screenshot or the image that you have taken into editable text and the text that you can copy and paste or just into a text file then this application does wonders it is very accurate and it will get all of the text analyzed and it will convert it into a text file doesn't matter if it's a poster or a written document or a screenshot it works well with all of them so that was kind of it for this video guys if you like this video make sure to tap on the thumbs up button and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel